Hi there, and welcome to our channel. Today we are looking at Marco Castle, a ruined 14th century castle near the hamlet of Marco in East Lothian, Scotland. The castle name was originally Merkel and can be dated back to 832 AD. The Scots army under King Oengus rested here whilst watching the approach of King Athol and his Saxon forces, who were in hot pursuit of the Scots for having stolen cattle, women and children from Northumberland. As King Oengus withdrew from Merkel over the ford some distance east of the present-day Athelstanford village, the clouds above formed a diagonal cross. Oengus took this to be a good omen, and in the ensuing Battle of Athelstanford, King Athel was killed and the Saxons were defeated. With this event, the white cross on blue was adopted as Scotland's national flag. The name Athel Stanford is said to come from King Athel being killed stone dead at the ford, and Merkel is said to come from a miracle where the clouds formed a cross in the sky. The ruins of Markle Castle sit next to the fishing ponds of Markle Fisheries, just off the B1377. Little is known about Marco Castle, but it was associated with a long since disappeared medieval village of Marco. Marco Castle was built by the Hepburns in the 1300s, a powerful Scottish family who also owned nearby castles of Hales. And Walkton. The castle stands on a rocky outcrop, rising from marshy ground, surrounded by a ditch with inner and outer ramparts. It consists of the remains of a tower built in the 1300s, and a later hall house built in the 1500s, together with a square courtyard. The ramparts enclose an area measuring approximately 260 metres by 140 metres. The ditch has been cut through at various places, particularly to the north of a railway, but to the west it can still be seen that it was around 2 metres deep and 6 metres wide. On the inner rampart, there are the remains of a stone wall around a metre thick, with evidence of round towers projecting from it suggesting possibly some kind of curtain wall. Like many Scottish castles, Marco Castle had a troubled past. In 1401, George Dunbar, 11th Earl of Dunbar, the exiled owner of Dunbar Castle, together with the English knight Henry Hotspur Percy and 2,000 men, made a lightning raid into the Lothians burning down Markle Castle and village, along with the villagers of Traprain and Hales. In 1434, Adam Hepburn of Markle and Hales, together with William the Red Douglas of Tantallon Castle, seized Dunbar Castle by royal decree, when Dunbar again falls from grace. Dunbar with his family flee across the border into England. The Dunbars returned the following year with English backing to retake Dunbar Castle, but were defeated by the combined forces of the Hepburns, Douglases and Ramses near Coburn's Path Tower. On the 17th of May, 1544, the English led by Lord Hartford's forces burn Markle Castle during an aggressive campaign to force the Scots into agreeing the marriage of the young Mary Queen of Scots 
to King Henry VIII's son, the future King Edward VI of England. This campaign was to ensure the Scots did not make an alliance with the old enemy, France. The campaign was later referred to as the Wars of the Rough Wooing. On the same day, Haddington, Stenton, Beverton and Preston Pans were burnt. Markle is left a ruin, whilst the Hepburns retreat and concentrate their forces at Hales and Watton Castle. By the 1550s, the castle is partially rebuilt, but in 1567, the Hepburns fall from grace. James Hepburn, 4th Earl of Bothwell, is the third husband of Mary Queen of Scots. He is instigated in the assassination of Lord Darnley, Mary's second husband. Following the defeat of Mary's forces at Carberry Hill, Hepburn is forced to flee to Scandinavia, where he dies insane in the prison of Dragsholm Castle. Hales and Markle Castles pass to the Stuarts, the Earls of Bothwell, some years later. In the 1590s, the North Berwick witch trials took place and Francis Stuart, the 5th Earl of Bothwell, is implicated along with a number of people from East Lothian. They were accused of practicing witchcraft at St Andrew's Old Kirk in North Berwick on Halloween night and trying to arrange the death of King James VI through sorcery. He was imprisoned in Edinburgh Castle on the 15th of April, 1591. Francis broke out of the castle on the 22nd of June, 1591 and was banished from Scotland. All his lands, including Markle Castle, were later forfeited to the Scottish Crown. In September 1594, James VI gave Markle and Hales Castles to Walter Scott, first Lord Scott of the Clue, who was a famous border reaver. The property was bought by Sir Francis Kinloch, first Baronet of Gilmerton in 1655, along with the estate of Athel Stanford. He was made the Lord Provost of Edinburgh in 1677. The castle remained in the Kinloch family until the late 20th century. The castle is marked on Blue's 1654 map of East Lothian as Little Markhill and on Adair's 1736 map as Little Marcel. The remains of the castle are now protected as a scheduled monument. Once again, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, share and comment on the video. It is very much appreciated. See you next time and bye for now.